Chainsaw Man is an actual manga that has a simple art style, simple characters, and a simple plot, but it still manages to be unique and artistic. Hi, my name is Mike, and this is my life good luck. Chainsaw Man is a manga from Shonen Jump set in a modern world that is mostly ordinary, but it is littered with supernatural devils, and the story is focused on a young man named Denji, who ends up becoming half-human and half-devil, and hunting other devils. You know, when we talk about stories with a human become part monster and abandoning their humanity to fight evil creatures, we tend to think about Tokyo Go or Devil Man with their heavy atmospheres and dense tone. Chainsaw Man, however, is simultaneously very similar and very different to those stories. The first thing that is interesting about this manga is the atmosphere of the world and how the protagonist reacts to it. Denji is a young guy that never had proper food or a proper home because he spent all his life trying to get rid of the debt that he inherited from his father. So he spent most of his life just trying to survive and selling parts of his own body to afford living another day. He never even had friends and his only company was a small docile demon that looked like a dog called Pochita. And one day, when Denji is almost dying, Pochita becomes one with him as an act of gratitude for all the time they spent together, and Denji is reborn as a mix of human and devil. Shortly after, Denji meets Makima, a devil hunter from the Public Safety Bureau, who offers him the chance to work under her custody as a devil hunter himself, and his first reaction is one of joy. Denji is alive. He will be able to have food and a home, and he will even be close to a cute girl in his job. He only sees advantages. And I think this premise of the story illustrates really well the nature of Chainsaw Man. It is a big, cruel, and raw world in which the characters are just trying to live another day. Even surrounded by the painful reality, most of the cast seeks only simple things, and this is one of the reasons this manga has such an artistic atmosphere. And, I mean, the art style kinda contributes to that. The art is simple, almost rudimentary, but everything is still so striking. If the story of Chainsaw Man is about people living simple lives in a complex world, the art is about simple aesthetics forming complex sceneries. Just like you can have characters just sleeping and eating in one moment and then have them fight for their lives shortly after, you also have simple scenes of characters standing and talking followed by really striking or abstract moments. And I'm sorry for being repetitive, but I really think this contrast of simplicity and complexity is what Chainsaw Man is really about. Denji is just a boy that is experiencing many simple things for the first time and slowly discovering the complex nature that is behind them. Behind the simplicity of having sex, Denji finds the complexity of love. Behind the simplicity of having friends, Denji finds the complexity of protecting them. Behind the simplicity of living a normal life, Denji finds how protecting that normal life can be complicated. That's why I look at Chainsaw Man not just like an action-filled shonen, but also as a piece of art. This manga is the story of a young man discovering the nature behind his desires and how he has to collide with the world to fulfill those desires. But don't think this manga doesn't have good action sequences or fights, because man he nails them. The style of the fights in this manga reminds me a lot of Hunter x Hunter, another out-of-standard shonen series, because it has the perfect mix of brute force and strategy. In one hand, you have humans and demons using weapons and raw power to fight their enemies, but on the other hand, you also have humans making contracts with demons, sacrificing parts of their bodies or their lifespan to obtain abilities with specific activation requirements. In practice, you have a guy with a needle that can kill anyone instantly if he pierces them a certain number of times, fighting alongside a guy who can simply turn his arm into chainsaws and slaughter everything. 
and the best part is that this whole mix works really well. The last thing I want to talk about is how Chainsaw Man can be blunt. The characters come and go, they live and die, the moments of tension give place to moments of tranquility, and then new moments of tension emerge. The world of Chainsaw Man feels really raw, like you're not seeing a story being written, but episodes of everyday life. Sometimes your work colleagues quit their jobs, sometimes someone you know dies tragically, sometimes a crisis knocks on your door out of nowhere. All these factors make the pace of the manga feel more like a unique experience than a normal story. In the end, it's pretty clear that I think Chainsaw Man is a great manga. It is also a pretty light reading, so I recommend it to anyone looking for a simple story that can leave a strong impression. And I hope you like it as much as I did. Anyway, I've been Mike, Jesus loves you, and thank you for listening to me.